There used to be a lion in a forest. His name was Simba. Since childhood, a cheetah was his friend named Cheeto. Their friendship was famous in the jungle. They were always together and playing and joking among themselves. One day Simba said, Hey Cheeto, I'm the king of the jungle. All animals are afraid of me. I am the most powerful. There is no one like me in the forest. Cheeto replied immediately, Yes, but you look like a mouse in front of an elephant. Simba was not expecting this answer. Hearing this he got very angry and said, Stop bullshitting. I'm the king of the jungle. Talk to me politely. Cheeto said worried. Hey Simba, I was just kidding. What happened to you? But Simba was furious. Not Simba. Call me king. I am the king of the jungle. Hearing this, Cheeto became more worried. He tried to calm down Simba's anger. Arey Sheru, kya ho gaya hai tujhe? Ham to bachpan ke dost hain. Hearing this, Simba became even more furious and spoke in great anger. Friendship is gone. In the future, just call me king. Now get out of here or I will break your neck with one claw. Get lost now. Cheeto couldn't believe what he heard. He was very sad and left her with a broken heart. Simba didn't even try to stop him. A mischievous monkey also lived in the same forest. He would steal food from other animals and harass them. Weak animals were his special targets. A donkey also lived in the same forest. One day the donkey found a melon from somewhere and happily brought it under a tree. But the donkey was very unlucky that the monkey's eyes fell on his melon and the monkey took the melon away. The donkey begged him to return his melon, but the monkey did not listen. Instead, he took off the replicas of the donkey. The donkey was very sad and he went to Simba and complained about the monkey. Simba was very angry with the monkey. Monkey's complaints were increasing. On the other hand, the monkey stole the food of an old parrot. The poor parrot had been holding a guava for a long time which the monkey took away. The parrot got very angry and went to Simba with a complaint. Simba ran out of patience. He ordered his fox inspector. Oh fox, now go and arrest that mischievous monkey and bring him to me. Inspector Fox arrests the monkey and brings him to Simba. Oh, poor monkey. You also steal in the forest and harass other animals. I sentence you to death. Two months from today, you will be thrown from the top of the mountain. Until then you will remain in prison. Take him away and imprison him. Inspector Fox imprisoned the monkey. When the monkey was not seen for a long time, the animals went in search. Gradually the news of the monkey's punishment spread in the forest. All the animals were very happy at the monkey's punishment, but the monkey's friend, the rabbit, was very sad. He went to meet the monkey. Monkey saw him and said, Dear rabbit brother, I only worry about my family. I don't know what condition they will be in. I have not even made any arrangements for them. I am very worried. I don't know what to do. Rabbit went straight to Simba and begged the monkey's forgiveness. He will be punished for sure. He has broken the law of the jungle. There is a riot in the forest. This is the forest. This is not a banana republic. Oh my king, you should certainly punish him but give him some respite because his family will be very worried. He will return after arranging something for them. Have mercy on his innocent family. I would give him that chance but he is a very evil animal. What is the guarantee that he will return? If he ran away? Oh my king, I guarantee it. You imprison me instead. Leave me if they come back. Do you know that if he doesn't come back, you will be thrown from the top of the mountain instead of the monkey? Oh my lord, I know this and I am ready for it. Okay, no problem. 
Oh rabbit, I accept your request. Oh fox, action should be taken. According to the wish of the rabbit, the rabbit was imprisoned and the monkey was released. The monkey went home happily. Days passed but the monkey did not return. At last the day came when the execution was to be carried out. Simba ordered the fox bring the rabbit to him. Oh rabbit, your friend the monkey did not come back. Now I will give you the death sentence instead. I will knock you down from the top of the mountain. Let's go to the top of the mountain. Just as the rabbit was about to be thrown down the hill, the monkey arrived and offered himself for punishment. When the rabbit saw the monkey, he immediately spoke. Monkey brother, why have you come? Go back now. You have small children. I am ready to suffer the punishment in your place. I have no family. Please go back now and take care of your family. Dear monkey brother, for the sake of our friendship, go back now and... Dear rabbit brother, if I made a mistake, I will also suffer the punishment. For the sake of our friendship, go back now and let me die. Thank you very much. I am proud of our friendship. Simba was very surprised to hear this conversation between the rabbit and the monkey and thought that both of them were ready to die for each other in friendship. Whereas I separated my friend Cheeto from myself over a small matter. I'll go apologize to Cheeto now. Listen, neither of you needs to die. I forgive you for the sake of your friendship. You both have opened my eyes too. Go ahead and don't make any mistakes. At the same time, Simba went to chase Cheeto. After a while he saw Cheeto on top of a hill. Cheeto was silently looking at the mountains. He hurried to him and said, Rayo Chittu, I am sorry yaar, mujhe tumhare saath aisa nahi karna chahiye tha, mujhe maaf kar do. I love you my friend. Cheeto immediately forgives Simba and Simba moves forward and hugs Cheeto. Both friends were very happy to meet each other after a long time. Dear children, this story teaches us that a good deed can be an inspiration to others. <laughs> Thank you.